Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Mr. Watchdog, and today we're going to be playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. In the last episode, we took down the last of the old Driscoll's. Hold up, he's going to start talking to me, and I won't be able to speak for my intro. But, I, uh, man, it feels so good to get rid of, kill two, get rid of those dang old Driscoll boss. God dang old Driscoll boss. They had it coming when Colm died, and now they're all gone. Except for that one. Actually, wait, he died. I forgot, yeah. This was a massacre. You guys remember that episode? But let's go let's continue with the Chanupa or the uh Indians thing. Hello. Here I am as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Friendship. The chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows what World War Three boys. Out. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. I was kind of checking my smoothie, happens. so now my controller's gonna be all sticky. Well, okay, not smoothie. Girl. I see. Hold up, I need to get this up. So this colonel, baby, he knows you're up here helping these people. Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict, especially with Eagle Flies now imprisoned at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. Failed man is often the most dangerous. <laughs> All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage do... point up at the top here. I'm gonna knock a ambush. Well, like. Not really an ambush. Maybe like, you know, pull a Steven Universe and talk through it. 
let's go like hey guys you know we're thinking of doing an ambush but you know we kind of we kind of thought about it and um we should talk we should talk there ain't no talking now boy Whoa. give us the god dang wagon now that's what probably is gonna go down Holy okay cow. let's dismount here best leave the horses back a bit We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. You know, I'm pretty sure you're giving a white man disease. You know, uh, that's just a theory. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. I can't kill myself anyways. I've tried so many times. I, all I do is respawn. Come on, girl. Okay. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, do you want to get blown into the heads now, boy? Are you insane? Where the United States are? That's yeah, and I'm a part of the UK. Outlaws for life. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Outlaws for life. Return the mess and medicine to you, Captain. Ah, this sucks. Well, can't leave your body in vain. Better search you. Thank you. You're contributing to America, by the way. Thank you. Open health care. Let's go, girl. Yep. Here, yeah. I'll do that yeah, when we have the um ending dots. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It uh it didn't go too bad. I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past care about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. USA, 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 we're here to save all the ah, regular show memories. But um, yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it here. I don't wanna we wanna make it this really extra long. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video by me, Mr. Watch. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't like, comment, subscribe. This is Mr. Watch song. Mark, I mean not Marcus. Uh, Arthur, do a dance.